Thanks for staying with us. Now, reasons for becoming a single parent include divorce, breakup, abandonment, death of um, the other parent, childbirth by a single person or single person adoption. Now, they say children raised by single mothers are more likely to fare worse on a number of dimensions, including their school achievements, their social and emotional development, their health, their successes in the labor market, and, you know, so on. Now, even beyond having more income, two parents also have more time to spend with the child and relatively gives a bit of balance in the life of that child. Now, tonight, we are asking... What are the struggles of single parents and the impact it has on both the children and the parent? Now, please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So, let this conversation begin. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting conversation, honestly. Um, mm. Because, of course, last, was it last week or two weeks ago, this guy that's always ranting on Twitter, Reno, <laughs> you know, came out to say he has no level, no iota of sympathy yes. for single parents, you know, it's only the ones that, you know, that had maybe death of the spouse. And I mentioned one other one, I can't remember what it was. Mm. And people went at him that, oh, cool, calm down. You know, only for yesterday, <laughs> a story broke that he abandons his, although they've come out to say he's, he's come to refute it, that it's not true. But he abandoned his, uh, his wife, wife for a baby mama in the UK. So he's left the uh, US for the UK to go and live with his uh, baby mama that, has, that just had a child for him. Hmm. So in my head, I'm saying, okay, you that were, cast you, you were castigating single parents, have you not left a woman? to become a single parent now on her own, taking care of the children. But that's not the conversation. We just want to have a conversation around the struggles single parents face because it's a reality for us. I mean, I posted on Mother's Day, you know, how I almost became a single parent. And some guy that did not, that could not read, you know, was trying to respond to me. But of course, I don't have time for people like that if you're not able to, to be smart with your, with your conversation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the truth is, there are different circumstances that can mm -hmm. make someone a single parent. And, you know, and truly these struggles are real. But, you know, what struck me when I was trying to do this research and the script and everything, I realized that single parents, even to find a quote on single parents, it's almost like you get like five or 50 single moms but not on dads you not get single dad but single parent is both ways it's not mm -hmm. just one person you know? exactly. so why why is the burden so much on the women when it comes to single parenting so maybe let me start with you then i'll come to Mori. i think that stems from our society and our culture mm -hmm. and you also find a situation whereby we have people who are who find themselves with um unintended pregnancy basically they didn't plan for it mm -hmm. and when they found themselves in a fam family way, what did they have to do? They had to tend for the child mm. and take care of themselves So it's because well. it's the woman that is so carrying the pregnancy. most times it comes back to the woman. So you find women are the ones actually doing it. Then we also have to look at the aspect of women who are actually married to a man and the man isn't playing his role in the family mm. as a man. He's not taking care of the children, he's not doing anything. Parenting. That. Thank you. So some people, some women are actually married, but they're actually single parents. There was a joke on a woman who said, okay, if she was a widow and stuff, something like that, where uh, that was way back. I don't know if I can recall the story, but the, the thing is, it, was, it came out like a joke. Mm. But actually, people are actually living through things like that because in marriages, in marriages where the, their, their spouses are not partaking or participating mm. in raising up their children and caring for their children. So it plays the society and our culture, especially in Africa, has made it relegated to the background that it is the woman that actually bears the brunt of mm, single, single parenthood, parenthood wow. basically. Maury, let me come to you. Do you know any single parents around, or where is Maury again? This is our Zoom. We're going to give them fine. <laughs> you know, so... For I, me, mm, yeah. another thing is this. I know of a single parent, and believe me, she did what a, a lot of women didn't have the, the guts to do, mm. basically, by, you know, having a child out of wedlock. It took her some time, but she finally found the man 
who she's finally settled with. Mm. Now, in the course of her waiting for the right uh, man to come along, men came with different proposals, and they were not they were not good people, or basically they're not up to the standard that would, they would they're not the kind of men that would have, you would have, you know, expected her to be with. Mm. So you see, single uh, parenthood now makes women settle for less. Mm. Also, it also happens to the man as well, where he's looking for a spouse that would take care of his child or his mm. children. And in the process of them doing all of these, um, trying to search for the right person or the right, search for the right um, spouse, they tend to fall into the wrong hands. Mm. And when they fall into the wrong hands, and that's where the game actually that's begins, we have um, issues of um, social pressure. The social pressure based on the fact that, oh, you can't take care of the children by yourself. Mm. Single parenthood, you can't take care of the children by yourself. You need a woman, you need a man. You know, the society always comes back to well, Why play. though, why though? But let me come to you, Maury. Maury, oh, what's, your, what's your take on what do you think, you know, do you know people that are struggling and what are their struggles for single parents? Can you hear me? I think you're straining to hear me. Well, can you take the question again, please? So I'm asking, you know, we're talking single parents, right? We're talking about the struggles that, um, that they face, the challenges that they face, both, you know, on the part of the child and the part of the parent. So what, what, what's your experience like, you know, for people, maybe someone you know and all of that? Oh, okay. Um, so I really don't know. Uh, okay, there's no way that I can say this um, topic without being like a little bit vulnerable. Because my parents were kind of separated, so um, my mom raised me, you know. I mean, my dad was still in my life, but my, my mom, like, I was with her, like, all through the world. You know? So I don't know if it maybe has, like, a societal effect on, like, your mental health. Because, you know, I would go to school and, you know, you see kids whose dads would come and drop them. Um, you see, like, maybe when mom and dad and then it's just me. So, like... I, it kind of makes you, I don't know, grow before you even grow because mm. it's like there's so much responsibility on you, especially if you're like the only child and like there's no, there's like, there's not like it's been like a luxury lifestyle. You know, you watch your mom like try to make ends meet, so you can't even start, you can't be a child. There's just so much responsibility on you. You know, you can't be false because, I mean, it's always that. I feel like there's a role that the father plays in the life of a child that only the father can play, you know, and I also feel like there's the, there's the role of a mom. So I have to, you know how when they give birth to you and you have to now rebirth yourself, I have to like learn many things on my own because there were some things that maybe, my mommy did the best to try, but there were some things that, you know, she left out because, you know, things were just all over the place. And coming from, so immediately I had like my baby, there was a pandemic, right? So there was a lockdown, her daddy was, I was in a different country with the baby, you know. It, I feel like the only person that you can disturb without really disturbing is the father. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Okay. Without really disturbing is the father of, you know, the child. So it was just me and it was just her. And I'm not going to lie, it was difficult. He was there in every way but on Zoom. But like, you know, if, if that he was there, I would have needed, like, I would have maybe been able to get like maybe two hours extra of sleep. I you know in America, it's, they love their job so much. So it's literally, I was with family, you know, but at a, at a point in time, they had to go back to work, mm. you know? So it was just me and a newborn in a pandemic in mm. a foreign country. It was, so I was just at that point, and me, I still had like support of my husband, you know, via Zoom and internet. So I was just thinking at that point, women that don't have anybody How, to talk to, mom, women that don't have anybody to nag, because even oh. nagging makes you feel like somebody to just say, oh, this, and it makes you feel better. So mm -hmm. at that point, I'm just thinking, how are these people coping? Like mm. how, I have to do like an entire Instagram post just for women who are single parents with no family, with no partners, with no friends, they are going through. It's, it's powerful. It's not for the faint-hearted. Mm. Exactly. You can't raise a child on your own. I don't think you're supposed to. It's you know, a no, lot. No. So let me okay. stay on, Maury. Okay. So I was going to ask you this question. that what, How did he, um, the impact on daddy not being around, you know? Yeah, I, I know you mentioned. Oh, you can hear me. Maury, can you hear me now? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So I was going to ask you that, you know, what would you have wished for, you know, when you were growing up, you know, because you mentioned, oh, you see people. What was my what? What would you have wished for when you were growing mm -hmm. up, you know, because you said you would see people, their parents, will, their fathers would come pick them up in mm -hmm. school. I mean, what do you think was the one thing you lacked or you that was missing that you really, really would have wished that it was there for you, you know, having both parents? So because because my grandpa was there, kind of like filled the spot, you know, so there was really nothing, but it was just, I spent most of my childhood praying for my mom and my dad to come back together. Mm -hmm. Like I was supposed to be a child. I feel like my childhood was somewhat taken away from me because I had to, I had to like grow, grow up, you know, before I was even an adult and stuff. Yeah. So it was just, I didn't even know then. No, I didn't know that that was what was happening then. It was as I, as I grew up, you know, and as I started to like know things and they like read stuff and they like, like do research, you know how you try to like find yourself. That was when I actually realized that I, I didn't think that I, I wasn't, there was no time to be a child. <laughs> you know, and I think that's one of the ripple effects, and that's why, like, you grow before your peers, you grow before your so, like, when your mates are talking, this kitty, you are talking, I have to go home to go and make sure mommy is okay, mm -hmm. and that's supposed to be daddy's job, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So, like, all those things just it just kind of like affect, but I didn't know then, like I said, I had to grow to know to that, know it, that that was what was, was happening. Going on. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting, I'll come to you, Isi. It's yeah. interesting what she's saying because, you see, and this is what I tell men, you know, and women yeah. in a relationship because even outside of being single, there are people that are married, uh -huh. you know, but they're living, like you rightly said, as singles. Uh -huh. It is the children that face it. The children have to feel the burden of, okay, is mommy okay? Is daddy okay? I'm uh -huh. trying to fill in that role. Uh -huh. I mean, so if you have a good relationship with your partner or your spouse, it helps. And Absolutely. even for single parents, I think, you know, except maybe demise, maybe death, if, if it's a divorce, you, I mean, by all means, try to put yourself in the shoes of those children and settle amicably so that, you know, even though you are not together as man and wife, mm -hmm. you are able to still be a part of the child's life so that the child does not miss out on anything. Because exactly. what you're doing is you're, you're for, uh, there's a further widening of that gap, you know. Exactly. And the child begins to go through emotional struggles and all of those things. Mm -hmm. Even as adults, you now be wondering, where is this thing coming from? It mm -hmm. came from somewhere you know but you were going to say something you you actually um um hit the nail on the head because i was going to look at it from the perspective of when the children actually suffer a lot when they have um their parents divorce mm. you know when this happens it actually leaves the individual or the child feeling oh was it my fault mm. was it something i did wrong i had a very close friend of mine who was who was a medical doctor, but he's late now. Mm -hmm. And there was something he had to live through when his mom and his dad, you know, got separated. And when this thing happened, it actually left his car in his heart because for a period of time, he didn't get along with his parents or his dad to be precise. And his dad is late now though, but it left a, 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 a big hole in his heart mm -hmm. and in his mind. It took a while into his adult age before he was able to get himself mm. and in the process that affected him as an individual mm. this is someone that was always you know um the the best student in class but during the period he had to go through the um the the, the, divorce, the divorce of his parents he actually dropped academically, academically. so the children are the ones that actually bear the brunt mm. of all of this and to a large extent, we do not know how how the things affect the children until they become older. And by then, and it's, it, almost and like by it's, then late. it's almost late. Wow. Now, there is also another angle we can also look at this from, where we have individuals living together, and the man is abusing the woman, and the woman is the one managing the emotional needs and also managing the family at the same time. <sighs> Let's not talk that one. We will bring no. that one back. <laughs> no, but we have to go on a break. <laughs> okay. But we need to open the phone lines for our viewers. I mean, mm -hmm. I just really hope that we can get people that are currently going through single parenting. Just tell us your struggles and tell us how we can help. Because I'd like us to have like some kinds of solutions by the time we're coming back Absolutely. You know, from the break. How can we help to make it better you know, for you? All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.